Yeah, interestingly enough, so viruses mutate all the time. The reason this double mutation is becoming of significant concern is there is one part of that mutation of the double that is on that spike protein that is particularly evasive and can cause the immunity, the, your immune system to escape and be able to get reinfected. It's actually responsible for some of the cases we've seen in South America, in the UK, and in parts of the United States. So this double mutation, number one, it is, it is incredibly serious. Number two, it is probably just the tip of the iceberg in what we would worry about in Asia. And I would be, if I were in any Asian health official, I would be very concerned about the implications of this mutation, set of mutations on the COVID response globally. And I would also be thinking, just like we are in the United States, about how we can get vaccinations and preventive measures to as many people as possible. But it is something to watch very closely and something that will not be limited to India. It is something we will likely see around the world as we have with other variants. Indeed, and every single country is moving at a different pace. So when is your most educated guess, Dr. Patel, as to when the world will be back to so-called normal, i.e. international travel will be back to so-called normal, trade will be back to normal, we will have reached a level of either vaccination or herd immunity to the point where countries can be open once again? Yeah, I do think we're going to see it in waves. We're going to see many parts of the Americas especially see in the summer, our kind of June, July, and August months have a semblance of normal. I think, Mandy, the key here is that 2021 is going to be a year of transition where nothing looks exactly like 2019, but we will start to see some of these travel restrictions lifted. I do worry, however, that the pace of vaccination, particularly in the EU, is so concerning that we could still see a climate around the EU of travel restrictions, lockdowns, until we can get a handle on it. And then with the Asias, these mutations and variants of concern could also delay that potential for a normal. But I really am trying to focus people on normal being very local, and you can see your family and be able to relax with friends. But the kind of broad global travel will be at least delayed until the third or fourth quarter of this year, if not the first quarter, 2022 because of the nature of vaccinations and these threats of variants.